I invite you to join us next, sir. Dr. Dheeraj Patel is the Associate Professor and a faculty in charge of Global Center of Excellence in Affordable and Clean Energy. Uh, let's give him a round of applause as he's already here. Do we have all our speakers on the stage? Fantastic. So everyone will reflect like that. So we are very close to work with the MSME industries. We identify the clusters, like in an example of Surat for textile cluster, Antalachur for chemical, Jorhat for tea processing. Because as you know, in the India, the DNA, DNA is direct normal irradiation is very good. And northern eastern region, the DNA is low. But the individual intervention is the selection of technology where the radiation is low. So we are pitching the technology for the northern eastern area. We are not separate from the Indians like that. Even southern regions also, western region also, northern regions also. We cover entire industries of with looking for the industrial solutions. Like an example of Inudo is a very specific for the industrial solutions. And we are very closely working with the Ministry of MSME. And as you know, the SME, SME, SME industries, the target is very, very low. We develop a report and which we say there is a target of 6.45 gigawatt only for the thermal technology. And as you know, for the industrial requirement, 74% of the heat which they use by the coal, natural gases, and even in the oil like that. How we can try to reduce all the fuels, that is very important. Because ultimate goal is the greenhouse gas emissions for the nation's point of view. And if we look for the technology point of view, something is innovations which we call as a concentrating solar thermal technology. You know about the solar photovoltaic technology, which is already proven, which is already installed. If you see the figure, which in 2014 it is a 2.6 gigawatt, but right now in the last nine years they achieved 30 times more, and it is based on the awareness, policy interventions, financial support like that. And similarly is the technology which is called as a solar thermal, because if you look for the industries, they totally depends on the fossil fuels and is totally depends on the boilers. How we can try to reduce? There is some solutions which we try to highlight as in a concentrating solar thermal technology for the various applications. Of course, the process heat application, which they use in different... Their accessibility, like what uh, Rajat spoke about, to clean technologies. Energy in specific. Yes. Thank you, Hitesh. Uh, your point is very valid because as you know, before going to a start, the few things are very important because earlier, Dr. Safna, just to update, few, before going to start the cleanup or, clean or scaling of the technology, the awareness is one of the major issues which we need to focus. Uh, policy regulation is the second major issue which we need to focus more so that we will look for the scaling of the, uh, scaling of the technology. Third one is the financials because as you know, the Rajat, just to update, the financial things are very important because we need to look for the return of investment. Ultimate, we need to look for the financial incentives which is coming from the government, which is coming from the multilateral organizations and some other bilateral agencies like that. So few things are very important before going to start with looking for the industrial solutions. Like an example of Inudo is a very specific for the industrial solutions. And we are very closely working with the Ministry of MSME and as you know, the SME, SME, SME industries, the target is very, very low. We develop a report and which we say there is a target of 6.45 gigawatt only for the thermal technology. And as you know, for the industrial requirement, 74% replacement is a very uh, difficult like that. But there is a challenge. Of course, uh, yesterday uh, we are discussing the heat pump also. Why we should not integrate the heat pump with the PV also? Because if you are looking for the solar photovoltaic, they can integrate with the heat pump also. So combination of all the things which we call as an hybrid definitely will go for the 90% and it is a successful case study in Puducherry where the boiler is stopped in 90% and second important point during the COVID unfortunately the, uh, nobody is coming like that and the, boiler, the solar is still working like that. So there is a one major issue the MD is very happy. So in that way we need to look for the, all the states. Of course the target, we achieve the target is 68,000 square meter collector area. If you look for the worldwide, they install 740 million square meter collector area. If we convert 556 gigawatt like that. But 
thanks to all the attendees whether in